Welcome to Business Legal Lifecycle TV, the live TV show all about the legal aspects of your business to help educate you on complex legal terms in an easy to understand manner, to help understand why you need to do certain things in your business from a legal point of view, and to help you develop a plan for the future. Our mission at Business Legal Lifecycle is to help empower all small to medium sized businesses around the world to get access to legal advice so that they can help build their communities and make the world a better place. Hi everyone and welcome to Business Legal Lifecycle TV. I am uh, Craig Mason and I have with me as always the author of the book uh, and the founder Jeremy Stratton. Say hello to everyone because Jeremy. Hi everyone, hope you're having a great day. Cool, so we wanted to talk about uh, setting goals today and how you go about setting goals. So every uh, business owner out there should have some goals uh, and it's a great idea to put some thought into how you're actually setting them. Uh, we just wanted to talk about uh, a few things today about setting goals. Uh, we've mentioned previously that uh, every uh, November we get together with a number of other businesses and go through our goals for the next uh, 12 months. And we've, 12 months, sorry. And we've encouraged everyone to, to do the same thing as well. Don't leave it to uh, January. Get in uh, before the end of the year and set some goals for the next year uh, that's coming up. So, Jeremy. The first thing you want to talk about is what do you want to achieve? Yeah, thanks, Craig. And as you say, yeah, this is the time to do it. Yeah, we're recording this in October 2019. But if you're listening to this later, if you haven't done this, then it's opportune time to do it. Because if you don't actually take these steps and you'll, you know, now, you'll never actually will. Uh, so you need to have a think about what you want to achieve. And you know, there's many different programs. There's many, and, and Craig's going to talk about some of them in a minute. There's many different ways to be right here. But they all talk about having your grand vision, what you want to achieve in, say, the next 10 years' time. Then what do you actually want to achieve, say, in the next three years? And then setting down your 12-month and then your, your quarterly or, or four-monthly goals. And you really need to think about what that is. What's your grand vision? What, what in 10 years' time do you want to have achieved to know that you've really made it uh, and, and in what you want to do? And then map that down to smaller chunks about what you actually want to do to get help you get to those 10-year goals. Uh, once you've got, say, the 12-month or 12-week or whatever, whatever it is, you need to think about what your criteria of success are, so obviously your, your success criteria. So what is, how will you know that you're successful? And if you've uh, done any work on this, you, you've probably heard the term key performance indicators, KPIs. They're the things that, that you know once you've reached, that you've reached that goal. So have a think about what your big vision goals are, and then have a think about what your smaller goals are, and then what does it actually look like when you've actually achieved that? And then Craig, do you want to talk about um, you know, the next part about once you've set those KPIs, what, what you do next? Yeah, absolutely. So you've, you've got your KPIs and you might have heard the term uh, critical drivers. So they're the drivers that you need to do in order to reach those KPIs. And obviously they're critical because you want to reach those goals and reach those KPIs. So the best way of uh, doing that is to map out how you're going to get there in some way. So there's many different tools out there to assist you with this, uh, the 12 week, 12 week year, etc. There's high value activities, uh, different ways of, of different terminology, but they all essentially mean your critical drivers and mapping out for each month, say, what critical drivers you need to do in order to reach that KPI. And you want to break it down, as Jeremy said, you've got a, you might have a 12-month goal, but you might want to break it down into, into the quarters of the year uh, and have different critical drivers for, for each day even that you need to do in order to reach your KPIs. And you've got it all mapped out there, then it's a lot easier to follow and you've chunked it down. Uh, it's a lot simpler and you know that you just need to do this today, do this tomorrow. And uh, if you do all these things, then hopefully you reach your KPIs and uh, you should therefore reach uh, your goals that you've set. So important to map it all out uh, and chunk it down for uh, critical drivers. So Jeremy, you just wanted to touch on uh, checking in with that as well as you go along. Yeah, so it's all great to set these goals, uh, but you need to have some way of actually tracking um, your progress to make sure that you actually achieve these goals. So, as I say, uh, there, there's many ways to do this. Um, you know, I use a spreadsheet. Um, there are other charts that you can get. Um, there are many ways to do it. You've got to find a way to check in, and I recommend checking in weekly uh, at the beginning of each week. Check in with where you're up to uh, as far as achieving those goals and what of those critical drivers, KPI, uh, sorry, critical drivers, high value activities or tasks, um, or tactics that you've achieved uh, and to make sure that you're actually uh, getting towards what you need to achieve and be ready to adjust them as necessary. Don't, you know, try not to make wholesale changes, uh, but over, you know, whether it be a 12 week or a four month 
um, plan, you want to make sure that you adjust so that you can um, you know, move along um, and, and achieve your goals. Remember that you know, on the way, when Apollo 11 was on the way to the moon, uh, it was on track 3% of the time and it was constantly adjusting to, to get itself back on track. So uh, make sure that you're adjusting to make sure that you're on track to, uh, on track to achieve your goals. Greg, I think that's enough for us today on goal setting. Yeah, absolutely. Great advice. Keep it simple where you can. There are apps and various things around about um, tracking goals as well that you might want to have a look at. But uh, as Jeremy said, keep it pretty simple. All right, that is it for us today. So that was show number 218. So if you're interested in the show notes, please jump on the website, businesslegallifecycle.com.au slash 218 uh, for show 218. Uh, as we said at the beginning of the show, uh, you need to set these sorts of goals in your business. Keep track of them review them regularly, et cetera, et cetera. And now's a great time to, to start that. So get on if you're uh, listening to this uh, and you haven't set some goals, get uh, get onto it uh, straight away. Uh, if you've got anything else you want to add to the show, please get in touch with us. Uh, if you want to leave a review uh, or share it with others so they can uh, jump on and be involved as well with the show, please, uh, we'd appreciate that. Uh, that is it for us for today. Thank you for joining us. See you next week. Oh, uh-huh.